two out of the three Pythagorean theorem. One out of the three, we can't use the Pythagorean theorem, but we're going to use uh, our trig ratios that we just learned. Now, um, I've got a, a spot there at the top just for you to rewrite in the Pythagorean theorem and your trig ratios just to make sure we've got it. So Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We may need that at some point in time. Trig ratio is sine is opposite over hypotenuse. I abbreviate it. I don't write out the whole words. Okay. Cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent opposite over adjacent. Tangent opposite over adjacent. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're only given one leg of our triangle and we want to find another leg, then we need to figure out which trig ratio works. We're going to set that up and then we're going to solve it. So let's look at example number one here. We are given, which side are we given? The hypotenuse. Nine is across from our right angle, so that is our hypotenuse. You want to go ahead and label that. Then look at the angle that they give us. They give us 63 degrees, so let's draw our curve around the 63 degrees. So the side we're looking for, is it the adjacent or is it the opposite? The opposite, okay? So we have the hypotenuse, we're looking for the opposite, so which trig ratio works? Sine, okay? O and H is sine. So let's set it up. The sine, it's not theta this time, or x or a or whatever. We have a, a measure, 63 degrees, is equal to the opposite x over the hypotenuse 9. Now, we're trying to solve for x. So right now we're dividing x by 9, so how do we solve for x? Multiply by 9. Multiply both sides. So, we are going to type in, now make sure, I need you to do this right now. Anytime we start to do trig, you need to check the mode of your calculator. you got to make sure it's in degrees right now because our angles are in degrees. If it's not in degrees, you're not going to get the right answer. I'll try and remind you of that most of the time, but sometimes I won't remember to remind you, so you got to check that. Okay, so you just type it in, 9 sine 63. And that tells us that our leg X is approximately 8.019. We don't have units, so we just leave it. Now, something you can do to check and make sure. We have the hypotenuse. We just saw for a leg. Make sure that the number you get is less than the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is 9. Our leg is 8.019. Now, that doesn't guarantee that you did it 100% correct, but that's one mistake that you have avoided. Your leg is shorter than your hypotenuse. Let's do another one. Number two. Okay. Uh, let's see here. We do not have the hypotenuse. So, based on our angle over here, we've got to determine which side is the opposite and which side is the adjacent. So, we've got this angle up here, A, 49 degrees. Draw your curve. So, X is the adjacent and 4 is the opposite. Opposite and adjacent, which trig ratio? Tangent. Very good. Tangent of 49 degrees is the opposite 4 over the adjacent x. Now, this one's a little bit different. The x is in the denominator. So this is going to take us two steps. Well, actually, let's just look at it this way. This works every time. The x and the tangent of 49 are going to switch places. When the x is in the bottom, they're going to switch places. And it works because what you're going to do is you're going to multiply both sides by x, and then you're going to divide by the tangent of 49. Okay, I'm just kind of skipping the step in the middle. So we need to divide this time. 4 divided by the tangent of 49 degrees. That tells me that my mixed, missing side x is 3.477. It, it's actually not that difficult. So when you see it the second time, it's always easier the second time. 
Okay, let's look at number three. Uh, seven. Which side is that? Hypotenuse. Okay. 38 degrees, so that means X is our adjacent. So adjacent and hypotenuse, cosine. That one is cosine. Cosine of 38 degrees is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, X over 7. This is the easy one. Multiply both sides by 7. So 7 cosine of 38 is 5.516 approximately for our adjacent side. Again, quick check. Make sure it's smaller than the hypotenuse. It is. We're good. Okay, number four. One more. Nine is the hypotenuse. 56, that means x is our adjacent. So we've got another cosine problem here. Cosine of 56 degrees is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Again, this is the easy scenario. Multiply both sides by 9. 9 cosine of 56 is going to give us our adjacent of 5.033. This is shorter than our hypotenuse. So at least we didn't make that mistake. Okay? So 